Hi, thank you so much for being here tonight for my little announcement. Well, what has it been? <laughs> what is my big secret and what is it that I've just, um, I keep alluding to all the time, I guess. Yeah, it's an Oracle deck. Well, I kind of think that, um, I don't know why, none of you guessed it was an Oracle deck. I've had some really funny guesses, so no, it's not my own TV show. I think I'm just a little bit too old <laughs> for that, and I don't think it's really something I want to do. So it was an amazing amount of people who thought that. To me, it's pretty much um, a given. I was um, taught tarot and Oracle reading when I was a child, so I've read all my life, and I've been an artist all my life. And creating a tarot or an oracle deck is just something that has been on my mind all the time and I'm sure that any of you who are artists and readers as well and love oracle and tarot is probably something that's um, on your wish list or your dream list as well. This has been mine and I really for a very very long time have wanted to do something with flowers because flowers <laughs> are everything to me. <laughs> I just adore them. Part of my upbringing was um, on the central tablelands of New South Wales near a little town called Golgong and part of my upbringing was in Balmain and it was just near all the big parklands and one of the big hospitals there as well um, and it was just fantastic because just the Australian bush was just everywhere around me and it is now I actually the place that I live in at the moment I'm so lucky because I back onto Garrigal National Park and it's a little pocket where nobody goes <laughs> I never see anybody really it's just gorgeous and uh, I just feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere there and the flowers are so abundant especially at this time of the year it's just fantastic so flowers and art coming together and my reading just all made sense to me I've been thinking about doing an oracle for so long and you can ask my mother, she's always going, the cards, the cards, the cards. <laughs> Sounds like a crow. My mother's not a crow. <laughs> but she's always saying, when are the cards going to happen? And two years ago, which is a little over two years ago, I visited Cairns where my family are and mum and I got into a conversation about uh, flowers and we actually went and saw a, an orchid show and I was looking at all the beautiful Cooktown orchids. I was moved to create an artwork and from that we started talking about um, this is what I should do and the reason being is that my first love my absolute first artistic love is lino print some of you might have seen my lino prints over the years the little bits and pieces here and there I mostly do them for myself I do do them as commissioned artworks as well when I was about oh gosh I can't even remember probably 10 11 12 when we were first introduced to, to good old lino printing at school and we all hated it I hated it too the slipping and the sliding and the cutting of the fingers still do that that's why I've got awful fingernails <laughs> um, look I just fell in love with it just the whole process that carving just and now even it reminds me of my sculptural works the carving the printing just being so involved with the whole process and then afterwards being able to colour them with paint, with pencils, with anything you like. I just found that fascinating and I have never let lino printing go. So this deck really for me is a return to my two favourite, so, oh my favourite subject which is flowers and my uh, favourite medium which is lino printing. Um, all the liner prints are all this size, <laughs> they're all A4 and uh, I actually quite like them in black and white as well, I don't know, that's just me. Um, part of me sort of said let's have a black and white deck as well, maybe I might be able to wangle my way into that. And these are the coloured ones, so I've painted them in, in lovely gouaches and they're all hand, hand coloured and hand painted. So 44 images, yes, you can do the math, <laughs> better part of two years of carving and getting right in there. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, sometimes it's been harder than other times to get it done and obviously since I've sort of let the day job sort of slip back a bit, it's been fantastic because I've had the time to, to do it over the last eight months. I've really been able to get in there and do it. As well as that, this is an oracle in the true sense that all the art images are made only for this deck. That's why none of you have seen any of them because this has been an oracle from start to finish. Each artwork I've created after study, after research, after, after looking at traditions and traditional stories about the flowers and about the areas they're from. Oh, and about the areas they're from, they're from all over Australia. So I've got all your state flowers and a beautiful spread throughout Australia. So I haven't been all New South Wales-ish, <laughs> which is where I'm from. 
it, they're there from everywhere. But each and every single card is an oracle unto itself. I studied the card, I, I studied the flower, sorry, I, I know the flower anyway, <laughs> and I looked deeper into it and then I created the artwork. So it's a process like that. And that's why you haven't seen the, the images at all because and that's why I've been so secretive because I wanted to present it in its entirety I didn't want everybody waiting waiting when's this deck coming out you do have to wait a little while it's coming out in the 10th and the over the 10th and the 11th of February but you can pre-order a limited edition deck right now the reason that that's available is because I am I was gonna say crazy I probably am crazy a crazy card collector <laughs> and I love limited edition decks so I've made that available for you. Uh, it's the same price as, as uh, the, the deck's going to be. Uh, however, it comes with a hand printed um, and hand colored, like hand lino printed and hand uh, colored, which is painted card. And there's an example of that on the little thing there. Um, and the, the number, the decks are number, numbered one to a hundred. So it's, I'm actually letting the decks go um, as you purchase them. So you'll get the number as it goes so you've got that little link there they'll be sent out on the Monday the 11th of February 2013 so if you're interested in that that's there and that's when they're all going to be released then so that's really really exciting a few other options that you'll see down there <laughs> I guess that's where it is down there in my little post here so you can have a look at all that of course the Australian Wildflower Oracle, the artwork, I finished this a while ago, so we've been you know, working on the cards and putting all that together. I've chosen Art Nouveau style because it's my favourite. <laughs> and also I really find a strong connection to me with art, um, a return to the arts as well during that period, if you'd like to read a bit about the history. And I, I just love it. I just think it just goes really well with it. And hey, I like it. It's my Oracle deck, so <laughs> that's why I've done it. Oh, the decks actually come with a little, um, little white book insight. Uh, it's just a little, little pocket reference for all the cards. But you also have a link when you purchase the deck to a, a full ebook, and you can print that ebook out. You can keep it on your iPad, your Kindle, anything that you like, and that's got very comprehensive information and layouts and it also has links to videos as well so it's a comp it's a proper ebook it actually I shouldn't say proper it's a full ebook it's got lots of media in um, interaction and there's also a forum as well because we all have our forums over at creative witchery don't we so there's that as well of course um, the artwork finished with this and I just missed it so much I missed the creation so I started another one and it's not the Australian wildflower oracle part two it's actually its own oracle and and yeah it's a big hint isn't it? it's just sitting right here so I should sort of put the clock on and say who can guess where this flower comes from I think I gave you enough hints because I've been wearing her a lot over the last few months because it's a peony and one of my favorite flowers and it's from China so my next deck which is well underway um, and I'm having such a divine time creating and I'm, I'm, I'm loving the people that I'm meeting and the connections that I'm making and the research and I'm learning so much it's just amazing and the artworks are coming together so beautifully and of course it's the uh, the Chinese wildflower oracle and that's a similar format 44 cards they are going to look a little bit different uh, but I'm not going to give you any sneaky peeks you have to wait for that <laughs> until closer to the date so that is down the track that's um, halfway through next year but for now the Australian wildflower oracle I just want to say to all of you uh, <laughs> thank you so much it's actually been really hard to keep it to myself because it's such an important thing for me um, I've always wanted to put this together and there's been lots of times I felt like I couldn't do it, I couldn't keep going and those who know that I've done it, ah, push me on. <laughs> and so I'm not going to mention all everybody's names because you know who you are and I don't want to sound like a big dad. <laughs> but thank you so much and thank you all of you who uh, read my blog posts, who buy my talismans, who um, support me in lots of different ways. I, I promise I'll be around a little bit more for you because work has slowed down a little bit now, thank goodness. Uh, but thank you so much for your support and um, thanks for coming by and even watching this video because it means a lot. We artists create and, and um, we don't really create for an audience but it's just nice sometimes when somebody says, hey, that's, that's pretty cool and I want to have a look. So thank you. 
have a wonderful, wonderful holiday time wherever you are in the world. I really appreciate you. I love you. Have fun with your family and friends and thank you. Blessed be.